So this morning I'm traveling alone without Tracy because I'm going on a work trip. Um, on a plus side, I'm going to a country that not a lot of people um, will visit in their life and that is Sudan. So I'm very excited about that. Um, if you know anything about Sudan, this is definitely not the best time to, to visit the country, but hey, we're going anyway. But first, let's go check in with my least favorite airline ever, Ethiopian airline. The one thing I love about traveling without Tracy is that I don't have to be at the airport like three and a half, four hours in advance because she's always stressed when she travels. So I showed up here less than two hours in advance and look at me, ready to board the plane. Anyway, all that to say that it's plenty of time because Ethiopian is probably going to be late anyway. Connecting through uh, Ethiopia is a little bit weird because even though you just do a transfer, you still have to go through security and the security line here is insane. It's not even 8 a.m. and this airport is buzzing. That being said, I was walking through the airport and at some point there's like a big cloud of smoke like behind me there's two coffee shops and I wish I had like coffee but I don't. They're actually do, doing the, uh, the through Ethiopian coffee experience. They bring you that strong coffee with, uh, with the charcoal with the special wooden things. Anyway, a lot of people seem to be enjoying their, themselves but that's not gonna be me. They even have a designated spot to sleep with like small mattresses on the ground. That's very nice. So the one thing they don't have is workstation without uh, being obligated to basically pay and go into a restaurant. So sadly that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to do a little bit of work. But first I just ordered some uh, typical Ethiopian food at an outrageous price. So it better be delicious and yeah, it's work time. something more Ethiopian typical because guess what I'm Ethiopia for in Ethiopia for a few hours right so um, I got the what is it Tibbs fear fear something like that it's with the uh, injara bread you know that sour flat bread mm. Better than the one I had in Nairobi, but still. So it looks like beef with some sort of spicy sauce that's what she told me and it is pretty good there's just something about eating with your hands. So good main, mediocre smoothie and all of that for an outrageous 26 US dollars. Last plate. everyone on the bus but just to cross the street the, the, the plane is literally like I don't know if you can see it through the phone it's right there I just made it to the Al Salam hotel here in Khartoum, Sudan, um, I gotta give credit where credit is due, even though the food was bad and my second plane didn't even have screens or, or outlet to charge my phone, both flights were on time. So good job, Ethiopian Airlines. Now I'm very fortunate because like this hotel right now here in Khartoum is the nicest hotel in town. Um, so yeah, very lucky about that, very happy. The room is fine, which I'm gonna show you, which that is weird because normally that's Tracy's job. Um, there's a mall that is walking distance from uh, the hotel 
Uh, so we're gonna go check that out as well because what does a mall in Sudan look like? I have no clue. I saw a Pizza Hut, so, so there's that. And otherwise, apparently the gym is amazing here. Every member of staff told me about the gym. So I cannot wait to go check it out because the two things that I wanted in this hotel since I'm here for like two and a half weeks is good Wi-Fi so I can upload YouTube videos, you know, you know, and a gym because I go to the gym almost every day. So, so yeah, room tour, room tour. Okay, we're gonna start from the entrance, but I tell you right now, the only thing I really wanna show you is the view from the hotel, which is unique. Let's say unique. So left to the entrance, we have the bathroom. So normal bathrooms, yes, perfect, sink. The only weird thing is that this is the bath and this is the shower and they're kind of combined together, you know what I mean? Then from the bathroom, a lot of space to put your clothes, which I'm gonna do, believe it or not, I am not gonna live out of my suitcase because I'm here for too long. Uh, nice queen bed. It's pretty comfy. I mean, I just jumped on it and it was totally fine. We get a TV there behind me, uh, a nice olive green wall that I'm probably gonna be tired of after uh, two and a half weeks. Otherwise, a nice couch there. I'm gonna spend most of my time here editing YouTube videos. Uh, apparently, the Wi-Fi is good enough here, so I'm very happy about that. But we'll, we'll see when I try to upload like a 4K video. Um, yeah, more storage a fridge, not here, but here, put some snacks, and uh, yeah, couch, there. Uh, piece de resistance, you ready for the view? It's really, I find it really creepy. There's like a, a creepy theme park that kind of looks abandoned. I mean, there's zero people and it's, it's, I mean, it looks abandoned. So yeah, a little creepy. Okay, so I'm really surprising myself right now, but I'm really gonna unpack because I'm here for like two and a half weeks. So I'm gonna unpack, put everything in the closet. So in the morning, it's like nice and easy to know where everything is. I don't know what I'm why I'm dancing, but here it is. So yeah, let's do that. Ta da Not bad, right? All my shirts and stuff. Got all my underwears and socks. Got my supplement pre-workout and everything. Damn, this is home, guys. This is home. Except there's a creepy, ah, oh, it's so creepy. Okay, game plan. I just finished my pre-workout. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna show you guys uh, the gym and the rest of the hotel as well, because it's, it's really nice. Like it is a very nice hotel, like overall. Um, so we're gonna do that. After that, we're gonna come back to the room and I'm gonna talk to you uh, about a few things, why it is not ideal to visit Sudan right now and what are my plans. I have some big plans. I contacted some people because everything was done very last minute. So anyway, uh, I'm full of pre-workout. I, I need to go work out. If you notice that the uh, quality of the image and quality of the sound is not as good as usual, it's because, you know, I'm in a new country. I'm not sure how it is about filming. I, I saw like a lot of mixed reviews like online. So I, I'm going to like start with my iPhone and maybe like in the next video, I'll, I'll know a little bit more because even though I brought my little camera, just because the microphone is on it, people think that I'm like media or something. Okay, so quick note about the hotel. The gym is amazing. The hotel in general looks really good. Like it's kind of a luxurious hotel. Like I would give it like for sure a four star. I'm sure it's considered a five star here. It is great. No complaints at all. Can't wait to try the food tonight. Um, otherwise, the, there's a massive pool outside. Um, bunch of kids playing around and everything. That's very nice. There's a bar at the pool as well that only serves like coffee, water, like and that kind of stuff because it's actually, Sudan is actually a dry country. So no wine, no beer, no gin, no anything like that. Otherwise, as soon as you come in, the reception is very nice with the light, the darker color and everything. I truly like the uh, the style of it. The gym even has like a, a juice bar. So that's very good. Now, why isn't it ideal to visit Sudan? 
Sudan right now? Well, there's two main reasons. First of all, in October 2021, there was a seizure of power here. So there's no stable government in place right now in Sudan. And that creates a lot of political tension in the country. Uh, just today, there is a massive protest downtown uh, Khartoum, basically. And those protests uh, often turns into violence and people uh, are killed and things like that uh, every single week. Um, so, so there's that. That is uh, not ideal. If you look at any kind of travel advisory from Canada, the States and all those countries, it's like a non-essential travel, do not go kind of thing. So there's that. The second reason, it is the hot season, guys. When I landed here, it was 43 degrees and not like a 43 humid, a 43 dry. So it is extremely hot. The sun is burning. I'm going to need a lot of... I forgot sunscreen. I just realized that I forgot sunscreen. Oh well. So <laughs> I'll try to not go outside too much then. Um, so here's the plan for Sudan. Um, in this video, I think I'm gonna go to the mall beside uh, beside the hotel. It's about 400 meters. It, it looks decent. Like apparently it's the biggest mall in Sudan. So we'll go see what's in there. I have no clue. Now, I think I'm gonna make a sec, well, I'm gonna try to make a second video. There's a lot to see in Sudan. And even though the, the situation is not ideal, I truly think that there's great people, a lot of delicious food, and a lot of cool place to discover in this country. And you guys know me, I'm all about positivity and I want to shed some positive light uh, on Sudan because it is a country that not a lot of people visit and I'm sure there, there's cool things to see. So I try to link up with some local people, local travel agency and I'm going to try to do some last minute thing. And when I say last minute guys, like 24 hours away uh, ago, I was sleeping in that crazy Land Cruiser and I was still on that road trip. So th this trip is like there's zero planning, zero organization is very, very last minute. So that will be the plan. I truly hope that I'm going to be able to do it because I want I want to experience the culture. I want to meet some people, eat food, go see the pyramids, oldest pyramids like in Africa or even in the world, I, maybe not in the world, but in Africa for sure, they're older than Egypt. So that's the plan. Yeah. Okay, now let's go check out Afra Shopping Mall. I don't know what to expect, but let's do that before supper. I'm telling you guys the temperature, it's 6 p.m. The sun is pretty much down, it's still 41 degrees. I'm just walking and I'm sweating. The wind is hot. As soon as I enter the mall, power outage. So right now I'm in Senna Mart. It's like a grocery store with like household items that you can buy, but there's just something that feels wrong being in a store like this when all the lights are off. Just like feels like I'm a, I'm a looter. And the power is back again. Not sure for how long. Anyway, they seem to have like a lot of American brands like uh, Frost and Flakes and like Reese's Puff cereals and things like that. But uh, what's very confusing is that there's no prices on anything apart from fruits and vegetables. So I'm not sure how that works. So not a bad mall after all, but a lot of great people. I'm going to tell you all about it in a few minutes because here it's, uh, it's very dark. So. Let's go back first. So the mall is a little run down, but I mean like there's everything you can expect in a mall uh, and more to be honest. There's an ice rink, didn't have ice in the ice rink, but still there's a cinema, there's like a, an arcade and place for kids, there's bowling. Uh, the fun part is that there's probably more food spot than any other thing in the mall. And out of those like 10, 12 different food spot, half of them are pizza. So Sudanese people, they must like pizza. So I spoke to a few people and all my interaction were really positive. Like Sudanese people, good job. Like you guys like see first impression, very nice people. Uh, so I went, as you saw, uh, to the grocery store. I bought some like uh, rice and some sort of like uh, kebab and stuff. I'm not sure if it's beef or chicken. Looks like chicken uh, for my lunches tomorrow because I don't want to eat at the buffet uh, all the time because I'm going to get like so Sudan is a cashless 
country so it's all cash everything is cash no credit card no visa no mastercard no debit card no anything i i was told that they kind of accept like us dollars kind of everywhere but i still had a little bit of like a sudanese pound so i went to the grocery store bought some like i said meat rice and stuff uh, for my lunches and then she gives me the bill and she it, it was like 4,800 Sudanese pounds so I looked in my pocket I only had 3,000 uh, but I had like a little bit of like US money and I, I was like do you take US money and she was like no uh, she didn't speak a lot of English but she was so nice and so sweet she's like don't worry about it she was like uh, she, she kind of gave me like a little discount and everything so I was able to get my uh, my six kebab and my white rice so anyway she was very sweet she'll probably never see this vlog but Great girl, great, great, great person. And finally, it is not a hotel review without reviewing the food because you guys know this is the most important thing ever. It doesn't matter what your room look like, doesn't matter how, how nice or not the staff is, if the food is good, everything is great. This tastes half as good as it looks. It's gonna be great. Hummus and potatoes. Eating alone in a nice restaurant makes me sad. That was the best hotel buffet I ever had in my entire life. Everything was outstanding, delicious. And I was like, man, it's gonna be very hard not to go there every single evening for two and a half weeks until I got the check. One Coke Zero and one buffet entrance or whatever you wanna call it. The only food I had is the plate that I showed you and the two little cake thingies, 54 dollars USD 24,000 Sudanese pounds that is outrageous so I'm never going back anyway I hope you enjoyed this video it was a little bit all over the place I'm super tired it's uh, it's almost 9 o'clock here uh, and I, I woke up this morning at 2 a.m. so it, <clears throat> it's been a long day anyway so I don't know what's gonna happen with uh, me being in Sudan. I really hope that I'm gonna be able to show you guys some more because I really want to. I wanna see the people, eat the food, and the pyramids, especially the pyramids. So yeah, otherwise, see you guys in the next one. I just had to do it. I don't think I'm allowed to say anything. It's a ton of bottles of water. That's true. Yes. Nice people. Dance move. <laughs> <laughs> Sudanese. So I found the bridge. I'm almost over the Nile. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs>